flying out into the darkness to fight ghosts. What do you mean? They all die fighting Spider-Man. It's their fate. People are watching and re-watching this trailer this morning for the new Spider-Man No Way Home movie. It's coming out December 17th. Comments on social media include people saying they're watching it and crying. It confirms villains from past movies, including Electro, the Green Goblin. Is it Electro? Yeah. Okay. You're yep. struggling. <laughs> I know, Rich has his ears plugged. The Green Goblin and Dr. Octopus, they're all in it. Doc Ock. Doc Ock. Okay, Peter Parker enlists Dr. Strange's help to remove everyone knowing who he is under the mask, but it opens a multiverse. Sounds extraordinary, I guess. <laughs> yeah. It sounds pretty good, Rich. It sounds like Spider-Man will probably die in the end of this one. I think that's what I heard is <laughs> Spider-Man dies He's dead. What? at the end of this. Yeah, I'm going to wear my mask. I'm going to put it on my eyes, though. I don't want to see any of this, Marvel. Okay. Anyway, no Spider-Man stuff right now. Instead, let's talk with American Idol Season 7 winner David Cook about his night of live music coming to the Capitol Theater next week. No spoilers. You may know him as the winner of season seven of American Idol, but now get to know him in a whole new way, live and in person. Welcome, David Cook. People may not know, uh, long before American Idol, you had a life, I mean, a musical life. You know, you grew up in Missouri and you had bands with friends and stuff. So uh, but before American Idol, when a lot of people got to know you, what were, you, what were your earliest musical experiences? How did that shape you and inspire you? Um, yeah, I was in bands for like 10 years before Idol um, and kind of played around the Midwest. Um, and so I kind of cut my teeth really just playing in a bunch of gross, smoky bars. Um, <laughs> but, uh, you know, what was great about it was by the time I got on Idol, I felt like I had a, a pretty good idea of where I sat musically, where I sat on the on the musical landscape and and kind of where my strengths were. So, um you know, thankfully, they allowed instruments that year, so I could kind of lean on on uh, on on the guitar a little bit and, and my musicianship. And because I was not the best singer on our season, I would I would I'll take that to my grave. So, um, <laughs> yeah. So I, I think having that definitely opened up some lanes for me. Well, yeah, well, yeah you're involved with, with like countless soundtracks I mean, for various TV series and things. So obviously, you can play. I mean, what do you enjoy the most about songwriting and the and the production process? I just like the idea of creating something that didn't exist before. Um, and that's that's really kind of what keeps me coming back to the well with all this. I, I mean, I love the performance aspect of it, absolutely. But uh, but the creative aspect, I think, getting to, um, yeah, like I said, just put something out into the ether that wasn't there before is, uh, is uh, probably my favorite part. Well, I'm assuming, well, I'm assuming the, the pandemic impacted that a little bit. So how does it feel to be performing in live audiences again? Um, you know, it's that you don't know what you got till it's gone. Uh, I, I've gotten a chance to go out a couple times here uh, in the last few months. Uh, just finished up a run in Europe, um, which, you know, that tour got scheduled two years ago and then pushed back and pushed back and pushed back. And mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I, I think... Uh, I was able, you know, I was able to find a lifeline uh, doing shows here at home, uh, doing live streams and stuff. But uh, yeah, there's no um, there's no viable alternative to get in front of an audience. So I'm excited to get back out and uh, and really to to get back out to Utah. I haven't gotten to play there in a while. Well, the show that I'm we're kind of dance around here. It's it's coming to Utah November 23rd. You're performing live at the Janet Quinney Lawson Capitol Theater at 7 p.m. with special guests, local guys we know. They've been in the studio here, the Grim, using some really cool technology to sort of re recreate the look of the Beatles classic London rooftop concert. And there's a special guest mention. Are you able to speak to that, or is it so super double secret that you don't even know? I, I don't have clearance for that. I, they have not told me. Um, your guess is as good as mine. I'm excited just like everybody else to find out who it is. <laughs> okay, well, that's really cool. Well, well, it's good to see you uh, in this way, but also to see you coming back to Utah. And, of course, you can get those tickets, by the way, at arttix.org. Check them out. David Cook coming to the Capitol Theater again with Grimm and a special guest. 
Thanks, David. Thanks a lot for a chat with us this morning. <laughs>